G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of squaring any two-digit number. That is, a way of multiplying any two-digit number by itself, fairly instantly, okay? So, uh, sit back and enjoy. Now, I'll give you an example to start off with. So, how fast can you do 32 squared? I'll give you five seconds. Okay, time's pretty much up. Okay, hopefully the answer that you get is 1,024. And if you did, if you got that, that's pretty cool, right? That's, that's pretty impressive. Congratulations, that's correct. If you didn't, don't worry, I'm going to show you a way of working this out. Okay, so sit back and you'll pick this up pretty quickly. Now, there's a couple of steps involved in doing this. The first one, what we do is we find the distance we look at this number here, the number being squared, okay, obviously, and we find the distance between this number and the nearest tens number, okay? So the nearest tens number to 32 is 30. So the distance between 32 and 30 is 2, okay? Now, that's the first step. This is something you can do, usually do pretty quickly, okay? Now, we use this 2 for pretty much every step that we're going to be going on with now, okay? The first thing we do is we take this 2 away from 32, to get 30, and we add this 2 to 32 to get 34. This is all stuff you can do in your head pretty quickly, okay? We're going to get these numbers and multiply them. This is the biggest step, okay? So, this is the same as sort of like 3 times 34 with an extra 0 on top. So, we're going to be going 30 times uh, 30, which is 900, and 4 times 30, which is 120. So, 1,020, okay? So we multiply this out, we get 1,020. And the very last thing we do is we just add the square of this number, this, num this difference number, to our answer. So 2 squared is 4. We're going to add these together, and if we do, we get our answer here, 1,024. Okay, so I'll just go through those steps again. We find the distance between this number and the nearest tens number, the number being squared, which is 2. We take this number away from the number being squared. We add it to the number being squared. So 30 times 34, and then we add this number squared to our result. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, I give it a few goes, and you'll get really, really quick at doing this. Obviously, some are going to be a little bit harder than others, but it works for all numbers that are two digits. So, what about I give a few examples here? I'll go just a little bit, uh, I'll go a little bit harder now. What about we do 33 squared? So what about you pause this and work through this, or you work through this with me, and then you'll pause a few later ones. So the first what step we're going to do is the distance between this and the nearest tens number. Okay, the nearest tens number is 30, so the difference is 3. We take it away, we add it to, okay? So we take this away from 33, we get 30. We add this to 33, and we get the answer of 36. Next step. Yeah, we multiply these. So 30 times 36. This is pretty much the same as 900 plus 180, so 1,080. Okay, 30 times 30, 900. 6 times 30 uh, is 18, so we're going to add that on, which is 180. Okay, the last step is we add this number squared to it. So 3 threes and 9. So what's the answer? 1,089. Hey, not too bad, right? This is obviously the hardest step just here. So that's something you'll have to get used to. Look, I do have a video where I look at how to multiply these out fairly quickly, these answers. So what about I do uh, a bit of a harder one? We'll do 68 squared. And look, I reckon a few people may get a tiny bit of confusion here because they might even start looking at the nearest tens number being 60. I know, no, it's not, but they may. The nearest tens number here is 70. So we're only two away from that, okay? So again, we do the same process. 68 take away two is 66. 68 plus two is 70. So we're going to multiply these. This is fairly easy, right? Because this is going to be, all right, this is going to be basically 420 plus 42 with a zero on the end, okay? So if I was to do this, uh, what I'd end up getting is the answer of 462, okay? 462 with a zero on the end. Okay, so 4,620. Okay, we multiply these out. 
Last thing we have to do is add this number squared to our result. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Our answer, 4,620. Okay, pretty easy, right? Again, the way I did that was 7 sixes are 42, so 420 plus 42, because it's 66, okay? So we get 462, but with a zero on the end. Okay, what about one last example? Hopefully you're doing pretty well with these. And definitely write up your own examples and uh, check to see that it works. So, 77 squared. Okay, could even put a few lines there. Someone's commented that they really like it, people do that. Don't worry, that's probably the only time I'll do it. Um, <laughs> now, how do we do this now? So we look for the nearest tens number. Uh, okay, the nearest tens number is 80, we're three away. Okay, so if we take this uh, away from 77, we've got 74. And if we add this to 77, we have 80. So let's multiply these numbers out. Okay, if we do this, 7 eighths are 56, 4 eighths are 32. So pretty much we're going to get 560 plus 32. So that's going to be 592 with a happy little zero on the end because of this. Okay, uh, now what are we going to do to this? Just add 3 squared. So 3 squared is 9. Our answer, 5,929. Anyway, how'd you go with those? Hopefully uh, you find that a really, really great little trick. I think it's a really, really awesome little trick, that one. Um, anyway, let me know. Send a comment, send a question, anything like that, and I'll speak to you next time. See you then. Bye.